Hi, welcome to Coach and Business. Um, this time I want to tell you something about um, coaching for digital natives. Um, well, for somebody like me, um, well, being a digital native, being in the digital world is where I feel secure, but of course, sometimes insecure when it comes, for example, to social pressure, which is like growing and growing when you are um, transparent digitally. Um, so my service and coaching uh, from my perspective for digital natives will help you in developing a healthy digital usage behavior, which will benefit then hopefully your private and your business life. Um, other benefits might be that you will develop a optimal share of usage behavior uh, digitally and in real life. Um, one thing that is often with a, with, which I am often confronted with when it comes to um, people who are engaging digitally very much is that they do not focus on long term goals um, and at the same time uh, do focus on short term benefits. Um, what my uh, support will um, help you with is to focus on long term goals um, and use short term benefits as big motivators. Um, well, on the other hand, you will still be able and learn how to communicate at the same time and coordinate your communication within different communication channels. Um, another thing which is pretty obvious for me in digital natives in such people um, like me is that people um, sometimes have a lack of stable beliefs and moral rules which will then be guidance for them to, to evaluate right behavior for them. So um, being digital, um, stable set of beliefs, uh, a lack of stable set of beliefs will sometimes lead to well, um, a lack of good behavior and um, this is where I can help to develop um, digitally sensible sets of beliefs. Um, let's go back to steps and um, take a look at what a digital native is. Um, and I'm talking about both. I'm talking about myself. So how am I? And I'm talking about like research about um, digital natives and how they are defined. So we as digital natives, we grew up in the internet and with the internet. Um, I emphasize on in the internet because for me, it was not only growing up with the internet, for me, it was being online. Um, as soon as my parents were not at home, I dialed in with my modem and I was online the whole time, which led to higher, um, costs at the end of the month, of course, but still, um, I wanted to be online all the time, even if I was only playing some games, um, which led to the internet, the online world being an integral part of my daily life. So I do not consume internet as some kind of TV. Um, being online is like part of my life. It's not separated for me. Um, I use internet as an instrument. Um, this means that I do not only consume and I'm part of the internet, but I do use it as a benefit in different uh, situations and for different tasks. And hopefully the internet makes life easier. It makes life happier because I am able to be in contact with my granny, for example, um, on a visual basis. So she's living like 500 kilometers from Berlin, but we communicate via Alexa Echo and she does see me and I see her and this is like pretty nice and it's easy and it's more efficient for us. So um, both are like the mo most important characteristics of, of a digital native. We grew up in, in, in the internet. We are an integral part uh, of the internet and the internet is an integral part of our life. And we use it as an instrument in order to make life easier, happier, um, more efficient, etc. Well, how do we navigate through life digitally? Um, we are able to multitask. We are more flexible. We are more diverse and we like diversity. We are at some points more hedonistic. So we like short term satisfaction. We don't like hierarchies because online, I don't care whether you are a CEO, the Pope or some guy drinking beer. Um, we like to consume online. Consumption is available the whole time. We are always on and we uh, like to communicate. We like to 
tell the world our beliefs. Um, but there are challenges with such a behavior. So the question is, how can I, as a coach, assist you in in being online and being a digital native and focusing on being more happy, more effective, more human again? Well, um, first point is multitasking. So the first question uh, is what is multitasking? Multitasking basically is the simultaneous execution of multiple tasks of several activities. This is pretty easy. So I'm communicating on WhatsApp, reading my, uh, reading my um, uh, most important soccer news, uh, at the same time listening to YouTube channels and working on my um, concept for work. Um, which, of course, um, will lead to lower effectiveness in, for example, working on the concept at work. Uh, it will lead to higher cognitive costs, for example, switching tasks between tasks um, within seconds. Um, with each switch from task A to task B, you will um, have cognitive costs and you will need to get cognitively into the next task again from the beginning. Um, you will have a lower con uh, concentration endurance because with each switching you will learn how how it is possible to get away from older tasks which in an extreme way might lead to procrastination um, it will lead to a lower capability to filter irrelevant stimuli so um, you will look at your mobile phone um, each time somebody's writing you even if it's just a company with the newest newsletter and some irrelevant i don't know five percent on nike stuff or something like this and you will have lower goal uh, orientation at some point so um, we have some challenges with multitasking the question is how can i help as a coach well um we have to evaluate the optimization potentials we have to take a look at how multitasking is helping you um for example uh, in previous ages, you were not able to learn and think while traveling. Today, you are able to travel, to discuss things with people and to e-learn something. So with new possibilities, um, there come new uh, well potentials for you to use elements of digitalization. Mm. But we will need to develop um, new strategies for our higher goal achievement orientation because with multitasking at some point you might lose your orientation and your ability to um, filter important uh, stimuli and if you will not be able to filter important stimuli uh, a big amount of time you will work on stuff that is not important at all. So um, we will need to implement a um, plan for you to um, use multitasking capabilities in an effective manner and not misuse them and become unproductive, for example. Um, well, we as digital natives, we like to be flexible. Next point. Um, this means that we have the ability to change and adapt to changing circumstances um, because our environment is becoming more specialized and more complex. So we need to adapt to a more complex environment. As a basic example, um, people are becoming more diverse, which means that in order to communicate with people, you need to be open to their diversity. Um, this, on the other hand, means that um, security will decrease um, and you will develop, you will need to develop such capabilities. Um, at the same time, the more possibilities there are around you, the higher the requirements are to develop a stable identity. But at the same time, it will become more difficult to develop such a stable identity. So with higher diversity, with more possibilities, it will become more and more difficult to find his place in life. So um, this would be one challenge to find his place while being flexible, not losing his, let's say, origins, let's say his inner beliefs, um, let's say his stable values and stable sense. Um, and if you lose it and if you lose your own sense of life, it might even lead to self-esteem. Um, both in real and in digital life. 
So how I can help as a coach, um, I can help in evaluate um, your own and current and future uh, value structures um, and environmental requirements. So what is the environment providing for you? What is available? What can you deal with? And um, what are your current value structures and how should you adapt with your value structures to the future? And then, of course, develop action strategies so that you can um, achieve your goals um, while, while being part of the environment and not counteracting to the environment. And of course, to your own benefit. Um, next one is diversity. Um, what does diversity mean? It means that we have differences in any aspect of human identity. We have people with long hair, short hair, big heads, small heads. I have short hair and big head. Um, we have uh, people wearing white shirts. We have people wearing, um, I don't know, uh, shorts. We have people who have different skin colors, who have different ethnicities, who are from different places, who like different things. So in any aspect, we can differ in any aspect. Um, this means that at some points, um, people who, are, who, who um, engage digitally uh, might not find a common ground for intra and inter uh, group relationships because at some points we might be so different that it might be difficult to, um, to for people to um, to get access to the others, to understand the others, um, which might lead to difficulties in communication, for example, um, and of course non-personal communication. Um, so this might be, um, for example, in moments where you communicate via messengers, via online messengers and you have to um, discuss something with a person who has complete um, contradicting beliefs, um, visuals, etc. Um, compared to you. Um, there is a, a big advantage to it though, because when you engage digitally, you um, only react to the content of the written word, to the content of what has been written. So this means that you don't have to uh, concentrate on all the differences you just have to concentrate on the task on the thing you want to solve um, well um, when it comes to diversity there might be difficulties in uh, a purposeful usage of um, shared resources so um, sometimes we don't need don't want to collaborate with people who are not like ourselves so um, if we see differences we might we might tend to collaborate with people who are more like we are, um, which at the end might lead to increased loneliness and shyness and lack of communication. Why? Um, well, because we differ from other people in every aspect. And if we, mm, if we tend to uh, avoid people who are um, different, um, then at the end, in an extreme case, we will avoid everybody because everybody is different. Um, how can I help as a coach? Well, um, I can help you in evaluation of current and diverse structures and diverse value structures in your environment, um, in your next environment, in a bigger environment, in order to um, for you to be able to get things in order again and understand the surroundings, um, then to develop strategies to increase uh, your effectivity in very diverse environments and implement, of course, a roadmap on how to not um, get um, overwhelmed by, by highest diversity. Um, well, next point is a very important point, which um, my prophet, my psychological studies uh, taught me, and it's hedonism. Hedonism means that um, your motivator for action is to be always happy, to get always your your, your um, uh, confirmation, your satisfaction, um, the pleasure and happiness are your primary goals uh, in your value structure. Hedonism at some points might um, lead to a lack of long-term orientation though. So um, you, you are searching for frequent um, gratification the whole time. Um, you prioritize your next steps on a fun scale um, so if it will make fun, you will conduct the next step. 
um, uh, which might then lead to a lack of meaning and responsibility because let's face it if you if you take drugs the whole time you might be happy and enthusiastic the whole time but it might lead to you uh, not 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 achieving and not um, fulfilling your dreams in the long run um, so we as we as digital people we have we have happiness we have um, gratification always available if we post um, a, a selfie online and we get 200 likes um, we are the best but it was not big work for us to get with 200 likes with just a picture it's more difficult to develop strength to develop toughness to develop um, to develop a skill over time over years and then after time get the benefits out of it so um, we as digital natives sometimes we forget that the good things come from big efforts and not from small short-term availability so um what i can help as a coach is i can help in evaluate your own needs uh, of pleasure at the same time your own needs of long-term fulfillment so to get a balance into long and short-term needs um, when it comes to your own life and develop um, successful strategies for you to uh, meet those um, needs and goals long term and short term as i um, talked at the beginning um, what we want to do in general is to pursue long-term goals while using short-term gratification as motivators for us so sometimes when pursuing long-term goals which are years away um, it's difficult to not um, give up on them uh, because at some point it might become impossible to achieve them so sometimes in between gratifications might be a good idea um, because they will help to get your motivations to keep your motivations up um, well we as digital natives are not the biggest fans of hierarchies so um, we don't want to negotiate and cooperate with people who are presented from above or below us what does it mean um, it means that we are not always able to perform within um, hierarchical environments and let's be honest hierarchies are some kind of natural life circumstance so um, at some points people will be better or worse in something uh, than others um, let's assume that somebody wants to help other people as a doctor medically so um, he or she will work her or his ass off in order to become better so um, at some points it will be necessary to work within hierarchies um, so if we have indefinite um, attributes of our own identity there will be indefinite um, uh, levels of, of of such an attribute so we will need to work in hierarchies um, and if we don't want to we will uh, fragment into a unit of one because at some points we will need to accept that somebody's better than us um, if we don't we might um, have a competition anxiety for example so we might not want to compete with somebody else which might need to as uh, some kind of um, um, uh, well lack of satisfaction because we will feel like we are not worth it um, but uh, to be better in something or worse in something does not mean that somebody is more worth or not um, and at the same time we are we have a high necessity of autonomy um, but when being in hierarchies we our our um, necessity to be autonomous might not be met so um, here is a big challenge for for um, us as digital natives and the question is how can I help as a coach well, basically um, first step would be to understand um, the uh, circumstances of uh, the environment and and yourself so um, w w how does the environment look like where are hierarchies which hierarchies are there in the fields you want to step into and um, what is your position in it um, how do you can improve it or how can you like deal with it when can you learn from people who are higher in hierarchies um, and well can when can you benefit from people or when can you teach others to become better 
So um, the question is uh, on how to develop strategies in order to to be able to um, um, exist in hierarchical structures, um, not to accept them always, but how to deal with it for your own benefit, even if you do not accept hierarchies. Um, and the next point would be to implement such strategies. Um, next point, of course, um, online consumption. So um, we as digital natives, we consume online. We do not need to go to the cinema in order to watch a movie. We do not need to put a um, physical DVD uh, in a DVD drive in order to listen to music. We do not need to, um, well, let's face it again, um, we do not need to go into a bar or have a date in order to find love. So um, we have an, um, our everyday and existential needs um, are met via digital platforms and services, um, which might at some point become a danger for us because, um, well, our human experience, what is crucial for us as humans is replaced into the digital world. Um, and we get feedback for, for our actions digitally, um, which might not always be as intense when it comes to human experience as well in real life. So if we get feedback for bad behavior digitally, we might think as it is not as worth, it is not as strong, it, that it has no consequences. Um, so um, we might decrease our ability to be part of a functioning society um, and we might in decrease our emotion intelligence because we have not to adapt to feedback from environment which might at some point be hurtful for us um, well and by this we decrease our uh, ability to cope with situations because coping with situations requires um, to experience them before and to develop strategies for for solving them um, so online consumption um, for us, for us digital natives at some point might lead to a lower ability to interact with each other. Um, and at this point, the coach can help in an optimization of, um, of our potentials and coping with the environment. So at some points where you might have lack, for example, in building meaningful relationships, a coach, for example, me can help in, um, yes, in, in developing strategies on how to relearn it even. Um, next point would be to develop strategies to increase your emotional intelligence because dealing with emotions with real life emotions sometimes is tough and life requires it because because let's face it um for example at some point um our best friends our nearest friends our closest family some people will not be there anymore and if some people will not be there it will be very hurtful and you will need to develop strength in order however strength is defined you will need to develop strength in order to deal with it um well and um of course i will help and i can help as a coach to to, to implement such strategies um what does always on mean for us as digital natives um it means that we are reachable all the time uh, throughout the whole day um so we will have short cognitive flows due to multitasking and full-time reachability so imagine your most favorite uh, to do which you love doing um, you will um, do and uh, somebody will write you somebody will call you and you will be interrupted you will be taken out of your flow uh, at the same point experiencing flow moments is very special is very intense it motivates you as has a high high impact on your future actions so um well, all being always on might decrease your long-term ability to achieve your goals. Um, we might have a lack of relaxation. So if we are always on, if we are always reachable, um, the time to relax, you might, we, I might, as a digital native, um, think that getting f away from um, my laptop and getting into my mobile phone is the relaxing time, but it is not. Um, your mind and your brain still has to work cognitively, so it's not relaxing. Um, so we might lack of relaxation and we might develop a need for frequent 
uh, reward. So um, if we interact and if we get feedback, positive feedback all the time by likes, by answers, by messaging, by um, Tinder's right, Tinder's right, uh, left, etc. Um, it might lead to us needing frequent rewards, but frequent rewards might lead to us not working on long-term goals. So um, what coaching might help in is in an evaluation of your own time and your time management strategies, um, comparing them to your environmental needs, because sometimes you might need to be always on. Um, if the client, for example, you working as a consultant and the client needs a go live uh, in five days when you will need to work day off day on um, the whole night etc you will be it will be necessary for you to be always on but at some point um, well you might need to relax to get back to develop new strength um, at the same time you will need to combine uh, productivity with pleasure high intensity relaxation so I say in every topic I discuss with anybody, um, I say that extremes are a good strategy on short term. Extremes are never, or let's say in most cases, not a good strategy on long term. So if you get into extremes, for example, high productivity all the time, well, burnouts. Um, if you only focus on pleasure, um, you might not be the most productive person in the room. Um, so find the optimal way for yourself. And of course, coaching will help you and I will help you assist you in implementing new strategies because again, breaking habits is not always the most easy um, task. And at the last point, communication. So um, basically we communicate through different messengers uh, in work and private questions. Um, I communicate in private topics with friends from work and I communicate on work topics with private friends so uh, on different platforms so it's kind of you have to kind of be aware on where you communicate what so uh, basically um, a, a challenge for us digital natives is that there is an increasing amount of digital fog around you because everybody's communicating about everything in every second of, of life and you have to filter out, you have to recognize the important information. Um, so you have to prioritize what is important and what is sensible for you, um, which might lead in you being exhausted or have a decrease in clarity due to um, the increase of unnecessary information. So if you have an information overload, you might not be able to decide to get effective in decision-making processes um, well and this is happening because of us uh, communicating all the time sharing information etc in our digital world so what i can help you with is evaluate um, your communication behaviors um, and uh, enacting them in your environment and um, taking a look at what the requirements from the environment are um, and then developing communication strategies for effective communication. So simple as, for example, only answering uh, different messengers in the morning between eight and nine and in the evening between seven and eight when nobody's there or you are, um, I don't know, in the bathroom, for example. Um, and then, of course, implementing and training communication. Um, by the way, uh, I have a communication training session, a service where we train your basic communication abilities. Um, which uh, takes like one a day or two days. It depends on, on uh, what exactly you want to train, what, you want, uh, what exactly you want to be coached on. Um, so in this case, um, thank you. We discussed um, the challenges we as digital natives face um, by digitalization and by being digital natives. Um, I hope that um, my short video helped you in understanding what challenges you face as a digital native. Um, and I hope if you uh, need support, if you think that there is potential uh, for you to Im Im improve your behavior digitally, then please contact me. And otherwise, please write, comment, um, like, share, tweet, whatever uh, content you can find about coaching business. Um, so thank you very much and have a nice day. Bye bye.